Okay guys, so I moved the, the tires uh, to the basement where I'm going to be painting them. I have the alternated spray paint boot that I've used before when I was doing something in my house. Today it is a half storage. My old couch is here, but anyway, that wouldn't bother me. So I put them here. Um, I'm going to paint the back side of them now and then flip them and paint the front. Back, I'm, th I'm thinking I'm gonna paint it once or twice just to make it kind of get some color on it. I'm not looking to have it perfectly done, but just uh, to have some color done. Now, as they're here, I uh, clean them up with the cotton, clean the excess water, and then I'm drying now the, I'm drying them now with the wife's fan. That's the famous too. So the reason for that is just, I wanna make sure that excess amount of water that was behind the rubber here, it's all dried, but also if there is any uh, debris, like dust and particles, I want to make sure that these things are gone as well. So once uh, I finish drying, I'm gonna start painting. And one of the wheels I already prepared. So a sponsor of today's uh, video, it's these guys. Take a look what I did. I used all business cards that I had hanging in my house. And <laughs> those ones are my sponsors. I'm kidding, joking, no, they're not. But anyway, so I, I'm using the business cards to protect the tire itself. And uh, if you wanna use some I have some empty space here. If you want your business cards to be here, please uh, send me an email. Otherwise, you might end up just like these guys. So now I'm gonna mix this paint for, they say, for one minute uh, with this metal ball. And then each time when I stop, I have to mix it again, shake it again for about 10 seconds. So I'll just do that and let's get going. I gotta put my mask on. Usually, usually I hate doing this, but I mean, then I'm getting, getting headaches from all the <clears throat> getting headaches from all these paints, fumes. So better use this now. So now I'm gonna put the fan. I have these things as sinks like crazy. I have this thing fan. I'm gonna put it in to make sure I'm getting all the fumes out of the areas on the filter and it won't go to my house upstairs. So anyway, painting process. So this thing is also gonna collect all the particles in the air, but also mess with all the fumes. Uh, I just finished painting uh, the back of every wheel. Here it is. These two are the freshest, they're shiny. Now, I want to show you something really cool. So I have this filter, which is I'm using for my work. And take a look here. That brown thing, that is the paint uh, that was in the air. So it got collected into the filter. Also here. 
this is how important is this thing is this still sting i took off my filter but it still stings here in the basement and i'll keep it on running uh for a few more hours um i'm going to wait for a little bit then i have those pieces of pieces of wood what i'm gonna do next is i'm going to flip the tires but then i'm gonna put those ones underneath the tire itself without touching the rim the freshly painted rim so this way i can start painting the front of the tire today and then and in a couple of days 48 hours it says in the can i should repeat it one more time or with the clear coat anyway i'm gonna start flipping them now uh into these and painting the front stay tuned keep watching so now when the tires are sitting on the blocks all four i'll show you what it looks like underneath here so it's at the edge and basically it doesn't touch the rim I hope so. I hope it does not touch. Anyway, one more cool part thing came out is from the overspray the back, the entire rim got actually painted already. It has like this touch of gray cover now. And it looks really, really cool. I actually really like it. So it's the black inside, but then it has the kind of a shade Here you can see it like these things. It's really actually cool. Really, really like it. Anyway, so I'm gonna go and start painting the front and keep you posted. Stay tuned, keep watching. So what I did now, uh, I taped the tires and um, I clean up the fan or the final debris. So just to make sure I also found a few wet spots. So I'll dry these ones too. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start spraying. I'll show you quickly. I'm reusing business cards once again. All of them ready. The reason I decided to prepare all of them because I should do about 10 minutes um, 10, 10, 10 minutes in between the coats. So once I'm gonna finish a light coat here, that's gonna take me, let's say three minutes, three minutes, three minutes and about 10 to 15 minutes, I'm going to be back to the very first one and repeating um, until I finish three coats. So I would like to be really careful. I don't want to overspray. Um, yeah, that's my biggest fear. I don't want to overspray them because um, for a couple of those on the back, I found it's already dripping. So there's marks like these one. I can already see. So I got to wipe these ones. There is a few more. So I'm going to wipe these ones just to to smudge them away and then when i'm painting the front i hope i'm not gonna see them yeah so i over spray they spray too much at the back and because I, I really wanted to do minimum number of coats i did one and that would be enough it's really black but the front i would have to do many coats until i'm reaching and i'm getting the results i really wanted so anyway i'm gonna start spraying um, nice and smooth and easy before that i want to wipe this thing
anyway this is how it's going to be i want to keep walking around and spraying them switch to next one and next one keep watching so this is now two coats and it looks very very good i mean i still need to do the third one i see some bright spots when i say bright i mean bright i mean not really black so it's over there over here so yeah we're gonna be like a third and maybe four coats but generally speaking i think they look good up until i started painting them i wasn't really sure if i should paint them or keep them silver original but now when i'm looking at them i mean now i'm in love i'm gonna love them every day <laughs> they are gorgeous these things are gorgeous anyway so i'm gonna go and make one more coat um and see how it comes up keep watching i've done three coats so far um they're looking good it's really wet now so i'm gonna keep it to dry uh according to the can it's like 48 hours we'll see i'll come back tomorrow here and check out what's going on and then if it's all right then I either add another coat of oh I can breathe this thing is just another coat of black paint or I'm gonna go and put a clear coat clear coat I order it it's supposed to be matte I just need to go and pick it up from the store um and I'm gonna quickly show you what it is that is it shines but once it dries there's not a lot of sheen so it's a lot less than what it is right now and this one is the freshest one. Okay. Stay tuned. I'm continuing. This is what it become after uh, about 20 hours of drying. And to me, it looks just perfect. I've never done it before. That is my first attempt of painting wheels, any kind of wheels. I only got one mark where I screwed so far. I'll show you that in a second. can only be seen from one particular angle but there is some dust marks but generally speaking it's all good we're gonna go and make the clear coat now okay guys so the rim project is officially completed and they're painted and i love them i'll show you them right now so this is what the end result look like there are some imperfections i'll show you them in a second like this so I messed it up I had to repaint it and I can still see it but the rest is just like that so there's this there is a one more with a clear coat let me find it quickly I messed it up so there's this one one more on the same rim and then I have a spot with a clear coat like this where I spray too much and I got kind of bubbling okay and it's not really going to be visible at the edge and a bit of dust on it on the tires yeah and these four are now gonna be going right in here okay. 
Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Put your comments down below. The video is too long, but anyway, I was really excited to share the, my experience about uh, painting rims. Always wanted to practice and do that. And finally, I had uh, enough time with this COVID-19 to, to do it. Um, yeah, I didn't, roll, I didn't use a lot of um, five cans of spray paint and three cans of clear coat with all the mess, you know, with everything that I messed up along the way. Eight of them, each one cost me $16 plus tax. So do the math. Um, not too bad. Okay, see you soon.